Hello and let me welcome you all to this Monday's InFocus webinar about CodeBeamer's library function. We're pretty soon about to learn how to configure it by adding projects and trackers, only to experiment with the three main use cases for it. Copy work items across projects, add associations, and references. Let's head over to CodeBeamer to find out more. First and foremost, where is the library? It is hiding on the leftmost tab on the right panel in document view. This implies that all tracker types that have a document view also have a library. At first glance, it doesn't seem overly interesting, and that is because it's not yet configured. I must highlight that the following steps need to be completed by individual users, just like in the case now in the training. It cannot be done centrally by the system admin. Let's click on the cogwheel icon. First, let's add the current training project. To be able to add an external project, you have to be part of it. Navigate to projects, available to join, and start typing training. At the bottom, you'll find a training project. Just click and you'll become a member instantly. Let's repeat the previous steps with a new project. Now I have two of them in my library. Let's start by copying work items from the remote project into this one. In this scenario, we set up a template or rep repository, one that's not real, not meant to be run and finished successfully, more like a storage of useful items. This then becomes an ideal candidate to be used in conjunction with the library feature. I select the copy me customer requirement and move it into the tree of this one. The confirmation message pops up and the action was successful. The new requirement has an association of type this item is a copy of. It has a suspected link propagation active. If something changes in the template project, a red flag will notify people in the other projects where the work item is in use. Let's change the description. And the suspected link is now red. As you hover over the tag, you can see a nice description of its meaning. As I click the link, a new window pops up. In there, I can copy the changes over with a click of a radio button. As students are slowly catching up, let me change the description to mark my own requirement. To add references, I need to navigate to the downstream item and specify the upstream reference. The plus button will not link an existing system requirement to my custom requirement, it adds a new one. Let's navigate to system requirements, clear the references and add optional dual clutch. This is a perfect solution without a library, but it requires you to navigate away from your main tracker in focus. Let's remove it and add it back in another way. Let's do it with the library this time. Navigate to the training project, system requirements and select the same one again. The weight transfer is in the downstream references section on the right. You did not have to worry about the connecting field. The system picked it up automatically. Let's see a situation when the reference is not possible because it hasn't yet been set up in the tracker configuration. Test cases are not related to custom requirements, only system ones. I'm gonna drop it on the appropriate section in the middle. Red message comes up and indicates the missing link. When reference fails, you can substitute it with association straight from the same screen. Library allows you to create the two most commonly used associations, depends on and related to. Let's review the successful addition in the properties. This is a great replacement of the normal way, which is add association, type related to, use history and pick a task created for the purpose, associate me. Here it is as a second association on our original work item. As said before, the library is available on trackers that have document view, besides requirements, test cases, and tasks as well. Okay, this is it for our short webinar session on CodeBeamer libraries. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button 
and subscribe to the Intland YouTube channel for more. See you next week.